What's up, Soul Tribe Collective? It is your Uncle 79, the spiritual savage. I'm savaging this bitch. Like, share, follow, comment down below. Grandmother fucking rising, let me know how your day is going. How is your rising? How is your ascension? We're going from risings to ascensions. It's afternoon, but it's always 12 midnight somewhere. So, like, share, follow, comment down below. Hit that notification bell so that you understand and that you know when your Uncle 79 has come to post a video. You know what y'all should do? Just go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and record saying, it's Uncle 79. It's Uncle 79. Or like, that's what I heard. That's what I fucking heard. And record that, download it, so that every time I post a video, that's what you hear. Yeah, you know uncles like me. We love for our nieces and nephews to fuck with us like that. Uh, it's a little bright, ain't it? Let me see if I can adjust this real quick. How's that? Better? Why isn't there an auto function for the... You know what? Spirit says stop asking stupid ass questions. You get stupid ass answers. You didn't make it. That's what Spirit says. So I'm downtown Minneapolis. By the river. By the river. I just heard up the river. That's what I just heard. It sucks to be your motherfucking ass, I guess. Let's see if I can get a good kit. So like I usually, when I come here... I usually sit up, can you see it? Where's it at? That's it up there, I usually sit up, you know, I'm trying to get this meteorologist bullshit down, but I usually sit right there, up there. But there's a lot of people up there and I just don't want people in my business or behind me asking me questions while I'm trying to do some shit. Oh, I just seen a bomb ass place where I should actually go sit. Yeah, we're gonna go over there. Let's see how long I knew I was supposed to come over here, so there's a saying on the thing behind me here. Hmm. Well, it says, our lives are not only defined by what happens, but by how we act in the face of it. Not only by what life brings us, but by what we bring to life. Selfless actions and, comp and compassion create enduring community out of tragic events. Soul Tribe families coming together, not out of tragedy, but our endurance in the face of tragedy. That's what I picked up from that. So that's what's happened. Yo, unapologetic, unapologetically, SSA Comic Tarot. Yo, SSA Comic Tarot, I'm gonna tag you in this shit. Baby girl, with your fine self, you and I are somewhere. We are related some way, somehow. If not by blood, by extension. We know some of the same motherfucking people. Our energy is connected. From the first time I heard your voice, I was like, that's my sis. It's hot. So you know what's coming next, right? A big reveal. I'm gonna show off this little sexy alien body I got going on. It's hot. I'm gonna be out here lying. The air quality is poor out here too. Ah. <laughs> I'm stupid, McNoopit. Yeah, so you got me fired up, boo. Yes, you did. Because I woke up today and I felt calm. I felt a sense of peace. I'm looking for my car trail. Bear with me. Bear with me. Did I leave it at home? Damn it, I did. I think I did. Okay, but it don't matter. I don't really need them. I just don't like my cards flying all over the place. But made my car to fly into the hands of some sexy motherfucker. I heard, yeah, they will. That's what I just heard. Yeah, they will, babe. All right, well, let's see what we're going to do here. I'm going to brighten this up a little bit. All right. So, you got me fired up, Carmen Apple Sucker. You know why? Because, let me just test, make sure this uh, audio working, y'all. I'd hate to go through all this and then it's not working. Yeah, I will, I'll, 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 I'll tie these two together. But yeah, so, it's working. It's work, it's a go. It's a go, Mario, Mario, Mario. Yo, but you got me fired up. 
Because you know what? I, I woke up with a, with a sense of calm and peace this morning. And I was like, not that something was off, but something was very different. And I had a dream about my baby last night. You know what I'm saying? And so I know something is happening for me. For you too. For all of us. And what you confirmed for me, the first thing that came, I got God bumps. Ooh, I got God bumps all over my body again. Ooh. So me and my twin flame, my divine spouse, my heavenly spouse, my baby, you know who you are. Mwah. What came to me was that we didn't had a Romeo and Juliet love affair for centuries upon centuries. Comment down below if you feel, feel where I'm coming from with this uh, collective. Because uh, what I realize now is that lifetime after lifetime and the karmic bastard I had to let go of was chasing me light and would kill me lifetime after lifetime. Every time I left that motherfucker, he murdered me. Every single one, every single. I done been male, I done been like physically male, I done been physically female, mostly female though. And this time I came back as a male to, uh, to, to like shake that nigga, like, okay, he ain't gonna find me. And so the thing about it is, is that he always would remember who I was before I did. And then right as soon as I woke up, he would cut me, slice my throat. He done shot me, he done drowned me. He done set me on fire. I remember all this stuff. It's coming to me. All because I was I left him. The last lifetime, though, we did a, uh, there was some type of uh, spiritual evil kind of, because we were, we were dark. I was dark in the last one. And uh, I wanted to, I just, it, what didn't sit right with me. And so I went to God and I said, please, God, just take me away from these horrible, evil people. And I, God was like, well, you made a you made a pact with him downstairs and that allegiance but because i know your heart isn't in it i will save you this time but in exchange you will work for me for the rest of your life you will live forever and here i am immortal working for god but see this time around excuse me i cleared out my karmic debts god released me from that i'm living forever but i'm still immortal but it's not it's not i'm doing it now god knows i'm doing it now because see what happened is this I'm dropping a gym. I am. So before I woke up and I remembered who I was in my past life and the other ones, but this specifically this last one, God realized I was doing his work because I wanted to. Not because I was forced to or I had to. And that is the reason why I'm walking into glory. That's why. Because what happened is this. When you realize a calling in your life, See, God this time, he didn't, it wasn't like he didn't call me. It was like the contract was already there. So in God's eyes, you know, and I think this time I surprised God. I don't think that happens way too much and I'm not trying to be blasphemous. I think I surprised God because see God went about the contract was like, well, they already know what they're going to do. They're going to walk into it and they're going to do it. And what happened is that fact that uh, I just started doing it. And God must have looked at the contract and said, wait a minute, they haven't woken up yet. Like, they don't remember. He's just doing the work. She's doing the work inside of him. But he's doing the work because he don't know. Like, he don't know about the contract. He's just, he's just doing the work. Damn. That's what happened. That's what happened. I realize that now. I, I, like, I just got it today. Thank you, SS, uh, Nikki from SAA Karmic Tarot, because then you woke me up. Yeah, y'all motherfuckers been working really motherfucking hard for hundreds of years to keep me and my baby apart. Damn, because you knew that when we came together, it was going to create a ripple, a huge tsunami wave of change for this world. But you can't do it anymore because I defeated you motherfuckers. Y'all didn't know the contract was canceled. You didn't, you were like, nope, that we, he still, you didn't know the, 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 the secret agreement that God and I made when y'all motherfuckers weren't looking last time. See, I snuck off and did it because I knew that motherfucker was gonna kill me. I was a witch in my past life. I saw what he was going to do, but he, he was so hungry and sick with uh, obsession with me and tr controlling me and my gifts and ruling the, the kingdom of darkness down there because he was one of him downstairs like main man and still is. He was too busy worried about doing all that horrible shit that he didn't see when I snuck off one day and I went and said God I snuck off God saw me too and God gave me that gift he gave me the gift of death to get away and then a, a, another rebirth so 
I, I definitely understand uh, my divine feminine role in this world. And I ain't ashamed to say, you know, a lot of guys really don't understand what that means, but I get it. You know, that's why I have a perfect uh, match between divine feminine and divine masculine because that's what happened. So yeah, I've been uh, carrying this divine feminine energy in there. That's why I'm so nurturing and that's why I'm so caring. That's why I'm so loving. But in this, in this incarnation, in this lifetime, I came into a masculine body and I ain't no bitch. You know what I'm saying? So it's been a it's been a it's been a struggle to kind of figure all these things out. But I'm gonna get to the message five 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 on the clock. Thank you, Dad. Love you. I really, I do. Thank you. So yeah, you slimy, nasty, ugly, greasy ass motherfuckers been doing this shit out of hatred, out of fear, and out of power, control. Gotta keep that patch up. Clean out my lungs. So, damn it, those cats. You know, the cats made me forget that. Them motherfuckers ain't shit. There they are. I love my babies. Them is my babies. Horse fly back up off me. Got him. Monitoring spirit. Ah! Got that motherfucker. That's how we do it. Collective. I love you. Soul Tri family. We are coming together. We are uniting against this evil, this darkness, these fuck, fake ass, fucked up ass religious, religious bishops and pastors and preachers and they stupid ass demonic evil witch bitch whore witch wives that's what it is and so what you did for me today Nikki the floodgates are open there are certain things I'm not going to step into because I understand what my path is and I don't want to I don't want to unleash the unleash the, the 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 carnage and wreckage that can come out of my mouth because God's handling that but I'm going to touch on this because y'all been coming between me and mine for hundreds of of years y'all some sick bored ass bitches and i agree with nikki when she's when she's when she made the, the reference about the uh the, the the pastors and preachers in them and they and they dick sucking asses oh yeah she right and see the thing about it is what is what they were trying to get me for this time was because oh i found out the secret harvesting energy from young men from the time they're 13 14 and 15 years old oh y'all some sick bitches y'all some sick ass motherfuckers because now you got to pay for that those were innocent lives. Those were innocent, light-working lives. And what you did is that you damaged them and you tra you traumatized them because they were in a place of uh, mother. You know, their, maybe their mother wasn't there, their dad wasn't there. There was drugs involved. They were in. A, 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 they were in uh, uh, the Five of Pentacles energy and the Six of Cups in reverse, and the the Six of Pentacles in reverse energy. And what y'all did is you capitalized off of it and you robbed them. You scoop, you went in and said, oh, I'll, I'll take care of them. And all you was doing was fucking and sucking on young ass men. And that's disgusting. But you're going to pay for it this time. Yes, you are. You're paying for it now. Half of the cowards are probably commit suicide before, before they even have to be up. Before they even have to face the justice that's coming to them. The judgment, not justice. The judgment that's coming to them. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do here today, we're going to pull. What's up, baby? I love you. We, are, we fought through this together. Spiritually, energetically, we ain't even met each other. We've never been in physical, uh, physical uh, contact with each other. But spiritually, we've been guiding each other and helping each other this entire time. Really, kind of came in. Well, he's the divine masculine, so he's supposed to come in for me because I'm the feminine. You know, feminines don't chase; masculines do. But even then, you know, uh, Rose four 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 Tarot, she said it today. Uh, feminines aren't even supposed to be in the lead. It's the masculine. So I'm going to sit my motherfucking ass back and take some goddamn direction because I'm tired of being in control. I'm tired of always having to take charge and take lead in my life. I've done it my entire life with people. It's my time to just fucking chill and, 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 stand, behind, and stand behind my masculine. You don't have to agree with me, but I ain't asking you to disagree with me because like I said, I'm a feminine, but I'm in a masculine body. Don't, don't fuck around. Ah, see, I got I thought of a buck. Don't fuck around and get your ass whooped. Spiritually, and if you put your hands on me, you're going to get fucked up too. I'm not mean that shit. Games are over. The veil has been lifted. We're in the age of Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Not in the fucked up age of Pisces where everything was fantasies and lies and bullshit. The veil, the cloak, the cloaking, all that shit has been released because the collective woke up. We woke up. Let me get a card, please, for the collective waking up. Eight of Swords, mental prison. It, it fell in the reverse, and I ain't lying. Mm hmm. Put it in the reverse. It fell in the reverse. 
because we're out of the mental prison. We are monitoring spirits. We're gonna return to send the ten times four God of love and light. Anything that does not belong to collective and needs some more to be, some more to be, some more to be, and so it is. All evil eyes are going blind during the reading of this message. All evil eyes are going blind during the reading of this message. All evil eyes are going blind during the reading of this message. Yeah, we come out the mental prison and stepping in to uh, financial well-being, financial boss mode with a lot of fucking money. Or oh, this is your masculine. Could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Yeah, eight of wands. He's coming in fast to save you, boo. Don't worry. Don't fucking worry. Who's on the bottom? Mm -hmm. No more sweet dick willy. No more sweet dick willy. Yeah. Yeah, see, I did a reading earlier where it was the masculine, the divine masculine came in and burned some shit down. But in the reverse, this is, does it, do we need to even go there? In the reverse, fire, flames, spreading his, spreading his wand everywhere. That's the devil. That's devil energy. Yeah. Page of swords, no more internet spying either, no more hacking, you stupid hoes, you dumb bitches. And Nikki, they've been doing shit like that to me, breaking into, hacking into all of my accounts. You know, there was a time I was a really young, sexy, uh, sweet dick willy. I got a lot of, you know, I a lot of naked pictures or some shit. They took those and did whatever they want to do with it. They've been taking my images and uh, my face and superimposing it on people in pornography to make it look like I was doing porn. God knows what else they did with it. And then they made a lot of money on the dark web by videotaping me in my house, recording me in my house, live streaming all my shit so they could make money off of me by people watching me take showers, probably have sex, jack off, do whatever. But then they also were stealing my ideas and using them for a fuck nigga online on a YouTuber. Well, a YouTuber who wears a Beijing and got cheeks like, cheeks like a chipmunk. Punk motherfucker. Yeah, couldn't keep that up for too long, could you? Because I got quiet and I shut the fuck up. Started writing shit down instead of talking about it out loud when I was alone. I ain't that fucking stupid. Oh, and to the friends, and to the friends that thought that I didn't know what y'all was doing, y'all so damn stupid. See, y'all thought that you had me all caught up in my feelings and, depre and depression and distraction that I didn't see the, the secret communication on YouTube videos. The FBI saw that shit too, because just like Nikki, I turned some shit into the FBI too. I got proactive about my protection. I protected my energy, not just spiritually, but fucking physically. Yeah. I saw all that shit. When motherfuckers would go to sleep, oh yeah, act like I didn't look in, look in y'all's motherfucking phones. Y'all so goddamn smart, y'all don't even change the default password to your voicemail boxes. It's the it's your fucking phone number. Yeah. Oh yeah, y'all just like y'all thought y'all was siphoning energy and information out of me. Same shit I was doing to y'all. Yeah, God, I'm the sower hitting me playing plain sight in front of you, motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, my 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 first pet's name was such and such. My favorite food is this. Oh, it wasn't it wasn't that hard. Just like you hacked into my shit, bitch. I could break into yours and I could look it through all your emails too. Yeah. Y'all thought I was slow, but y'all was slow at thinking. Y'all was slow at thinking I was slow. See, y'all got now y'all was really slow thinking because y'all didn't know. Y'all was slow at getting to the point of the fact that I'm a fucking genius and I'm smarter and stronger than any of you hoes ever thought. And that's the truth, Ruth. That's the motherfucking truth, Ruth. Yep, that's the truth. Yep, Queen of Cups. The other truth, the, the, on the other side of the truth, y'all was some fake love act, love giving ass bitches. Y'all ain't nothing but some narcissistic, slutty ass hoes. Cold hearted bitches. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. Yeah, the illusions are over. It's a done fucking deal. Illusions are over, and now I and the collective get to step into our nine of pinnacle because we've always been single, self-sufficient, and independent. That's why you stupid, broke, spiritually bankrupt, motherless, fatherless, fucking lost boys from no one Neverland siphoned off my energy all these years because I was the only motherfucking mother, father, any of you role model, any of you hoes ever had. And then try to play it off like all I was trying to do was fuck up on y'all. Get the fuck out of my face with that shit, bitch. Y'all wanted to fuck up on me. Y'all wanted to be me. Y'all wanted to be around in my energy. Because like everybody always said, this is like, it feels like home every time. I just, I can't go, I don't go to sleep over nobody else's house but yours. Yeah, because you know I wasn't no motherfucking perv, bitch. Mm, now you're in re regret. Not remorse, but regret. Yeah. And in a reverse, see, you know, kicked over the cups uh, when you did through your little temper tantrum or whatever the fuck you did. You're just being irresponsible as always. And now in the reverse, there's no nothing in these cups either. You could be a Cancer Scorpio or a punk ass Pisces. Nothing against loving and caring Pisces, I know. But most of the Pisces that came into my life were there to just fuck me over. And that's the truth, Ruth. That's the motherfucking truth. Let me get another one. Thank you. Thanks, Dad. Oh wow. Okay. So, let's see what this is. This is the Eight of Pentacles. So somebody who's very creative, hardworking, is very good at what they do. 
Yeah. You don't get a new beginning because you were in your queen of wands. So let me just say this. What you're good at is some dark magic. It's a bitch. A scabbity ass bitch. Fucking Aries. A fucking Aries. There you go, bitch. Yeah. Can't sell that pussy no more. Don't nobody want it anyway. If they knew what was in it or what came out of it. Don't nobody want that shit no more. Yeah. And so like what you want to do. Let me see. Yeah, I can't make this up. You got mad at me because somebody didn't want to be with your ass. I can't help it that I'm in my divine feminine and I'm a nigga. But yeah, niggas find me more appealing than you. That's what happened, bitch. Yeah. Thanks, Nikki. Thanks, Nikki, for the fire you're putting in my ass today. Not in my ass, but you lit underneath my ass. You know what the fuck I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I was at an indecision for a very long time, but maybe now you about to be about what the fuck you're going to do. Yeah, what the fuck you're going to do with all, about all that money you just lost. I can't make this up. Comment down below if this rednates. If this rednate, does it fucking rednate? Does it rednate for you bitches? Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, cause you, yep, cause you, yep, there you go. Fucking Pisces. And a Cancer. And a fucking Scorpio. All y'all niggas gave fake ass love cause they all didn't know what love was. Nobody ever gave y'all love. The only kind of love they gave y'all was in and out of y'all throats and in and out of y'all booty hoes. I swear to God that's what it is. And now you bitches is in the Five of Pentacles. Financially, spiritually, and morally bankrupt. Educationally, too, because y'all bitches thought y'all was so fucking smart, but then you fucked around and figured out you're stupid. Let me get one more card, please. What's up, baby? I love you. The King of Swords. Mm hmm. Very logical. He does what's best for his people. This is God. God stepping in for the collective with the truth. That's the truth, Ruth. Let me get one more and I'm about to let y'all go. Thank you. This bitch again. No more of that. Yep, this was the only thing that y'all had. Y'all keyboard ass thugs, keyboard gangsters, keyboard stalkers, sitting behind the screen, jacking off to, to the misery that you created for other people, sitting behind the screen, taking people's money because y'all thought y'all was so fucking smart. But what is, I always tell y'all, Big Brother's always watching everything we do. Everything we do. And so, what the fuck made y'all think that if you planted hidden cameras in my apartment to live stream shit on the dark web or wherever the fuck you were doing it, that y'all were the only people watching? I'm, I'm over it. I'm done. I, I mean, I'm fully prepared for the rest of my life. Look, I live my life anyways like everybody's watching. I ain't got shit to hide. I don't. And I don't have anything to fucking lie about either. Even my even my my most unsavory, weakest, uh, embarrassing moments is nothing compared to the shame that you guys are about to go through and feel publicly. And being humiliated in public, yeah, I know what that has felt like for me in the past. It don't happen to me no more because humiliation is something I don't even understand. Not for myself, anyways. You can't humiliate somebody who stand, who sits up that fucking high. And I'm not talking about like I'm higher or better than anybody else, but my morality is. Let me get um. We're gonna use the uh, rebel deck, and then I'm gonna carry my ass home. I can't breathe out this bitch. I gotta get my hair like. Y'all some dumb broke ass bitches, and I mean broke in all kind of ways. Broken people, broken bank accounts, broken spiritually, financially, morally. Teeth broken. Teeth brown, falling the fuck out your mouth. Which y'all so damn cute. Okay. One more, please. Thank you. That project, that person, that that idea is waiting. Get after that shit. The whole world has your back. Thank you. That's for us in the collective. Me and the collective. Collective and me. So more to be, so more to be, so more to be. Give me one more, please. The little voice inside you, listen to that shit. You got a feeling you, you can't shake. You just can't shake. You got a feeling you just can't shake. Listen to that little voice inside. Listen, collective. Anybody new to your spiritual journey, this part of your journey, understand that listen to that little voice, that's God. And it could be the collective. It could be an ancestor, a guardian angel, a spirit guide. Listen to it. You're not going crazy. It's going to bring you far. It's going to carry you away from all the bullshit and arcs around you because it's, the war is not over. 
it actually just started. And it's up to me and the rest of the collective that have gone through it to educate and protect the ones that are coming after us because that's our job. That's what we put here to do. We won't put it for no motherfucking inheritances. No. And you know what? And, and I kind of, and I firmly believe that they would have just paid for it in hell after they died. But see, what it was was that you stole something and then now you want to eliminate motherfuckers because then you're jealous of their gifts. God wasn't going to let you do all that. You took things too far, just like you karmics don't know when it's time to fucking go. You don't know when it's time to stop doing some dumb shit or put some shit down or just walk the fuck away. That's why God pickled my ass. I look like I'm fucking 18 again with the hat on. I ain't got no grays and shit, you know. But that's why God pickled me. He preserved me because y'all already killed me. It's like he mummified my Egyptian ass. That's exactly what happened. You need some fucking yoga in your life. I do. Ancient shit is cool. Ancient Egyptian. Pickle my ass. Get the fuck out of my face. That's all I got. You, you crazy dumb motherfuckers. <sighs> I got it out. Thanks, Nikki. I love you. And I love you too, baby. For real, I do. And when I see you, somebody somewhere gonna be mad because they ain't gonna be able to see us. And that's what I'm saying. That's what I heard. Like, share, follow, comment down below. Hit that notification bell. I'm going to go home and I'm probably going to post a little bit more today. Um, oh, and there's another thing too. Why you, you know, sending in monitoring spirits, gang stalkers. I got, I hope y'all got it all out. Because I'm about to, I'm, the mothership has landed and I'm about to bounce on you hoes. And y'all ain't never going to see me again. I'm going to be like a ghost. You know what I'm saying? Like a spiritual savage. I might come in astral project and scare the shit out of you while you're in your prison cell. You have to sleep with your celly while he holds you and strokes your hair like that. Yeah. He's stroking your head like this and he's stroking you like this. That's what's going to happen to you in that prison cell. I hope it does. I really do. Because you've been sitting around raping and, and, and not even just like spiritually raping, but you've literally been raping people. Raping people. Molesting people. Assaulting people. And that's fucked up and that's that's ungodly and it's disgusting. And I'm and, and, and the only, if there's one thing I regret in my life, it's regret knowing any of you motherfuckers. I really do. I, I wish I never met her at all. Even though I hate you so. I don't hate nobody, but y'all ought to cut it out. But I tried to warn you. In, in, your, in, in my defense, I tried to warn you. I kept telling y'all, y'all can't keep going like this. Y'all can't keep doing this shit to people. You can't keep doing this shit to me. We're not doing anything to you. You're just going fucking crazy. Kill yourself. That's what we want so we can run off with your money. Yeah, while well, we go have our weird, uh, our weird sex party orgies and you know uh, do do some sex magic, trying to siphon your energy, trying to hurt you. Yeah, now y'all motherfuckers is walking around sick as fuck. Yep, and uh, I'm gonna put it out there. No, no tea, no shade against nobody, because I understand. For I've got friends uh, that that weren't hoes, 2332, that were infected with HIV and or other diseases because they were with somebody trying to energy siphon off of them and trying to murder them or kill them because they wanted to steal your light or they were jealous of some shit. Or they just wanted you to be miserable with they ass. For real, for real. And that's fucked up. I am so fucking sick to my stomach when I have to think about all the young men that have been walking around here that y'all swooped up off the street just to infect with HIV so you can manipulate them and make them feel like they didn't have no life no more. Y'all are some sorry bitches. Some sorry ass motherfucking miserable ass bitches. And I hope y'all get y'all shit soon. Don't kill yourself now, because God ain't gonna let that happen. Jump out a window, your ass gonna be in a fucking wheelchair. Or, 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 or worse than that, you're going to be quadriplegic and have to sit in prison in a motherfucking bed for the rest of your life while you get bed sores and have people mistreat you like you mistreated everybody else. That's what I just saw, literally, for a couple of y'all. Mm -hmm. And prep, oh, and let me just say this. Um, there's a difference from uh, being uh, taking prep and then needing to take prep. So stop telling people you're undetectable. No, stop telling people you're not positive or, or not telling people that you're undetectable just because you're taking prep. No, nigga, you are positive. You're just taking prep as opposed to somebody who's not positive and taking prep to prevent becoming positive. Do I make myself clear? This is Uncle 79. Yo, wrap it up, y'all out there, y'all. Wrap it up. And ain't nobody perfect. We've all slipped and we've done some things, but God protected you. He gave you, a, he saved your life, gave you a saving grace. He gave you another chance. Don't fuck it up. I don't give a fuck who it is. Go get tested. Do something together. Yeah, let that be a first date. Instead of jumping right into the bed. 
make the first day, go get tested, and then go jump in the bed if that's what you choose to do. Take it from me. You know what I'm saying? God God literally put a protective bubble around me and then put sense in my head enough to know what or what not to do with people so that I could be safe for the rest of my life. I'm telling you to do the same. Do not believe the hype. Do not believe the hype sitting next to you. Don't believe the little hype in your head either. You know what I'm saying? Because when you get attached to somebody uh, uh, sexually for that seven years, that's all that you're getting all that motherfucking karma. You're getting they shit too. And that's what I got. Thank you for joining me this afternoon. Grandmother fucking rising. This is your Uncle 79, the spiritual motherfucking savage in these streets. I don't know. Nikki, Nikki toe into that shit today. Okay. Unapologetically, she did. And I don't, and I, and I don't blame her. I don't fucking blame her. But it's all coming down. Watch what I say. I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was coming. They just didn't expect it. Love and light. Peace.